What's up? I know Sean Brooks likes when I do the uh, Rodney Dangerfield looks. Oh, God. Heartburn again. How is it when I sit down in a live stream with you guys, I get heartburn instantly? <laughs> it's not good, man. Oh, we got one person in the room. Hello, one person in the room. Oh, we got six people in the room. Holy mackerel. Okay. Awesome. One to six like that. Cool. Uh, Who's in here right now? Ten people. Jeez. This one's really taking off. Twelve people. Holy mackerel. All right. <laughs> Eddie, what's up? Electronics Envy. We got 14 people in the room now. Alfred Bloodworth, what's up? Oh, gosh, 17 people. This live stream is really taking off. Okay. Did you get the DJI? 19 people. Wow. All right, so uh, it just hit the U.S., whatever it is. It just landed New York. It says that the shipping date, estimated arrival at my house, will be the 17th. So we're st I told everybody I was going to keep you updated on the shipping as we got it in. I got my shipping notice uh, about an hour ago. I think it was about an hour ago telling me that whatever it was arrived at New York. Do I still have my Q500? I do not still have my Q500. Box of Eddie Hicks, a box of rocks. I, I mean, this the anticipation is killing me. Am I getting a poster? Am I getting a DJI Inspire? Who knows? You know, I had it set specifically to let me know when it reached America from China. So very, very curious about this. Mine's hit Miami yesterday. See what I'm saying? So a lot of the people that did order from those links are starting to get their stuff really close in now. Because there were, I think there were a couple of you guys that ordered from uh, a few of those links that were like that. And some of the people are just getting them in now. But <laughs> um, so I'm not sure. Like I said, none of us that have ordered it have received it yet. We're all very close to getting whatever was sent. So should be should be interesting to see how this plays out. But like I said, I was going to keep you guys updated. They sent me they sent mine to the wrong address. Did they really? Bill Smith, what's up? Long time no see, buddy. How are you? Um, but yeah, so I mean, obviously something was sent. It did reach the United States, whatever it was. So uh, mine says Saturday. Mine says the 17th. Today's the 12th. So I got a little bit of waiting. This waiting drives me nuts. I'm sorry, John, but like I said, everybody was telling me to let let them know what was happening with the shipping, so that's that's what we're doing. <laughs> I refuse to buy eBay. Is the auction still up? The guy is still online. He has not canceled his eBay account. So, like I said, normally scammers bail by now if they're you know were planning on sending you something that was a joke or fake, and then they would take their money and roll on out. So. Uh, the fact that the guy still has his account open, he's still selling things. Uh, I mean, I gotta assume something's going on here. Mail order bride, right? <laughs> My luck. I just had a quadruple heart bypass surgery and I'm alive. Oh my. That's not good. Well, it's good that you're alive, but wow. What is the link? Larry, that link was up uh, like two weeks ago. I think it was like two weeks ago. Two and a half weeks ago almost um, was when that sale ended. I don't know if it was a flash sale, uh, uh, promotional. The guy says it's promotional. He's been answering all my questions, which is really crazy. So like I said, Sean, Sean Brooks was the one that, that, that sent me the It's a Hubson Revenge. Maybe. Uh, Sean was the one that sent me the link, so... Could have been worse, bro, so you're good, yeah. Um, yeah, Sean is the one, so if this does work out, man, I doubt I'll keep the Inspire. Most likely I'll sell it just because I don't, I don't really need it. I've got more necessities in life, like car problems that could really use addressing. Uh, but I knock out a review, test it, play with it a little bit, see what it's worth, and, uh, you know, make decisions after that. Just my luck a couple weeks late. <laughs> Can I have it? Jordan, I would love to give it to you, man. But like I said, I have some uh, necessities in life that need to be taken care of first. It's a really nice bird, but it's not something I have to have. So buy a small drone, pay some bills. Yeah, well, that's the idea. See, the drone on dude even knows. I would sell it and probably buy something like the uh, um, unique uh, F5. 
550, the F550 or F450 frame, 540 frame, something like that, the Hexacopter, uh, the H version, but the big one, not the tiny one, not that you got the Q500, then you got the Typhoon H, and then you got the Typhoon H540 or something like that, and uh, that one is a beast, so <laughs> he said I'll buy it for 25 520, orange one, there you go, something like that. Actually, the, the ones that's, that's uh, my Tobbies here in, in Tampa has a black one or like a carbon fiber one. It looks killer, man. It looks awesome. Those guys want to fly it and do some filming with me, so I, I told them I would be down with it. That was that was real. Um, what's up with your car? Gre uh, Grex, Whirly Bird, man. It's, it's, uh, it still has a lot of transmission problems, and... We're getting into the really, really hot season, and as it heats up, my transmission just does not do very well. So I've got some decisions that still need to be made. I've been really babying the transmission in my car. Rusty Faith, what's up, man? $20 for a DJI Inspire. We, we don't know, Stammering. We don't know. We don't know, Benny. We'll, uh, I guess we'll find out on the 17th. <laughs> this is my option. Oh, no, bro, for real? That sucks, Benny. No raspberry tea, bro. No, actually, I'm drinking uh, milk today. I, I kind of shaved off the stash, so I can't really give myself a milk mustache, but I kind of can. Not like I used to. I used to be able to do the whole, <laughs> the whole thing. Mm. Fantastic. Milk is life. Hi, Dan. Hope the Inspire comes through for you. Me too. I mean, this this could really change a lot of things for me uh, momentarily. Uh, it would also help me pay for my 107 license. Um, I'll buy it and help you fix your car. <laughs> Phil, what's up, buddy? Let's see here. Who won the Oreo dunk? You know what? We never, we never found out what happened with the Oreo dunk. I sent my... Uh, my Oreo dunk challenge from the solo. Remember, we were trying to dunk an Oreo from 400 feet, and we ended up bringing it down to 300 feet, and the Oreo flew off the gimbal, and we got it falling, and it hit the, it hit the cup that my friend had with milk. He was running after it, and half of the Oreo went in the cup, and the other half fell off. It hit so perfectly, it just broke the Oreo in half. Half went in the cup, the other half flew out. So I don't know. They never got back to me. I guess I didn't win the Oreo dunk challenge, even though it was the most epic dunk I've ever seen in my entire life. So, got to got to give it to him, man. I, I wish that we had uh, found out more about that. Hubson is shit. Please tell everyone else about it, man. I I I've been arguing on their new videos for the past couple days, just trying. I, I don't I don't understand people. You don't understand. I'm still helping Hubson people, like. I'm still trying to help Hubson people. I really am. I'm doing my best to assist, and I still keep getting shot down by people. I commented on the new Hubson uh, official videos, and somebody was like, oh, blah, 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 this and that. Why are you even here? You're a traitor. And I'm like, I'm a traitor? I helped more than Hubson did when all that stuff was going down. I don't... What? <laughs> it's amazing how I felt like Batman for a second there. Like, you're the people's hero, but you're not. You're the bad guy at some point. I don't get it. I flew a little Hubson today. What'd you think? I flew it to 900 feet up here in New York. <whistles> Anybody got the Bugs 2 yet? Bugs 2? Anybody? That is true, James. Very true. I flew it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's right. Uh, drone, I forgot you were getting the Hubson from Ron. I did forget about that. What'd you think of it, man? Was it fun? Was it as fun as you expected, bro? <laughs> It's actually a very accurate little bird. It's crazy. Um, and we know that it can go out to 600 meters because we did it. <laughs> he said it's all right. Should I buy the up air? I don't know because a lot of people are having problems with the up air. I would, I would avoid the up air. Hey, you should get one of those little Indux drones. And that's what the drone on has. So next time we go out there, I'm going to try to, if he'll let me, I'm going to see if I can try to fly one of his little Indux and see if I like it. FPV cam it. There you go. Did you did the magic power on P3 today? We'll see if it does anything. It absolutely does stuff. Um, Bob, if it doesn't help the way you want it to, 
you can adjust your amps, but be very careful because you can burn out your uh, your transmitter very easily. So be careful. Like I'm running mine at 24 dB. I think it starts at 14 is what it puts out, and you can bump it up to 24, and some people even push theirs to 27, but just be careful what your amperage output is, because if you, if you pump up the amps too much, you're going to burn out the transmitter. So, food for thought. Think about that. I just did the magic powers and left it at 24, and I'm, I'm still seeing a massive increase. Even with the parabolic dish, my, my uh, video feed was dropping off at just over 2,000 meters, and I can go much further now. A couple times I've almost hit a mile, no problem. Did you get the solo? I've had the solo, brother. With that and my homemade windsurfer, it should. I'm at 24 as well. Yes. Yeah, I think you'll enjoy that uh, magic powers. It uh, definitely, definitely helps with the video feed. If I don't get it. Solo seems to be good. A good bet. I like the drone. Yeah, but even, like, the solo is so nice. I, I can't stress this enough, and I tell this to everybody, and everybody knows how I feel about the solo. The solo is not going to tell you it can't fly. It's not going to say I can't do this. It's not going to say I can't do that. It's an open source bird. Wraith, 215, help. What do you need help with, buddy? I ordered mine today. Birdman, good, good. Did the Inspire pick arrive? <laughs> it reached the U.S. That's what we know right now. It hit New York City today, and it got unloaded off the ship, I guess, that it was on. Solo kind of its... And, and the solo is in its own class. It really is. It's I believe it is a fantastic bird with endless possibilities. So DJ DJI Spark is expensive, very expensive. It's a dumb little I don't know. Anyways, Jason, though I unless you have a real need for a, a quad that small, you're looking at ten minutes of flight time with a 1080 camera. I mean, it's at that point I would just buy a Hubson because I know at least it's got a twenty minute battery life. <laughs> Uh, do you know how to, do you know how to change the you know, speed in the parameters section on the side pilot app? Uh, Wraith, I told you I haven't really messed with the side pilot app yet. I'm going to. I haven't really had a chance to sit down and, and, and look at it. I, I will soon. I'll see if I can help you out with that, okay? Actually, was it you? Somebody else was asking me if I tried the side pilot app. I have not really tinkered with it yet. Spark is for bloggers, and I agree. It's just a selfie drone. That's that's all it really is. It's not a tool of any kind. It's just for taking silly uh, selfie shots, which I can take fantastic selfie shots with the solo. So I don't know, man. Could be a great backpack quad. Maybe get over the side of a mountain and send it out, and you know whatever. Then you don't have to lug around a solo, I guess. But I'd rather leave all my gear behind and just take the solo with me. <laughs> the Up Air One Plus has a lot of problems. The Up Air One doesn't. Okay, so there you go. The original Up Air does not have problems, I guess. Uh, or as many as the Up Air One Plus. Good to know. Dan, I decided to use my $100 gift certificate to the DJI for the goggles instead of buying the Solo. I still might next month, though. That's up to you, brother. Is there something like... Whoops. What did that say? Is there something like the tower for the Q500? There is not. D uh, Unique said they may put out waypoints at some point, but then they never addressed it. So it's all good, Wraith. All good, man. Like I said, I just haven't, I have not had a chance to sit down and play with it at all. I will at some point here. Um, but as far as the Unique Q500 goes, there's not, uh, that I know of, there's no way to play with any kind of waypoints. Um, and that was another major frustration of mine is that I couldn't do waypoints. It couldn't handle wind, and it didn't have waypoints. The camera and the gimbal for the CGO3 were fantastic, and so was the SD10 Plus transmitter. Uh, but I found at times I was having to sit way too long and wait on satellites, and that was a major annoyance for me. What are the solos going for these days? Actually, somebody said that Best Buy is selling them for $181 right now. Refurb. Uh, new for 400 which seems a little extreme, but... Everyone in the world is selling them for cheaper than that. New, if they still have them. <laughs> but, can't beat the Best Buy refurb. Feet on the ground flying, what's up? Let's see. 
Rob Masters. I gotta, I gotta ask why you changed the name, buddy. Uh, got mine in the same place, Dano. Got his. 169 There you go. Rich T says $169 refurb at his uh, Best Buy. Love the journalation, mate. Thank you. That was a trial run. We uh, we found a lot out during that one, but we actually have Ruskin people now that are getting interested. I posted that, and there were a few people that actually caught some interest, so maybe next time we go out there, we'll have almost close to 10, eight or 10 people out there instead of four, so that could be more fun. I changed because I'm not going to build a channel when I get time. I changed it because I'm going to build a channel when I get time. Makes sense. I'm with it. Am I wasting my money if I buy the Hubson X4 Pro with touchscreen? I mean, Martin, the H7000 transmitter, If you can, unless you get a deal on it, I, I wouldn't even bother. And I'm just not a fan of the X4 Pro, to be honest with you. I, Sean Brooks knows how I feel about the X4 Pro. It had so many uh, VRS problems falling out of the sky because the, the uh, props weren't big enough for the body. It just it had this really weird thing that happens when it descends. See, Rich T says, Martin, I wouldn't. Did you get the Inspire? Um, bro, did you get the Inspire? William, not yet. We know that whatever is coming just reached New York City. So we're looking at about the 17th, I want to say. Uh, that's when it's telling me that I should uh, receive it in the mail. So I'm excited. I'm excited. If it is an Inspire, we'll decide whether we're going to keep it or not. <laughs> also, engine, uh, the motors burn out. Yes. Uh Got a jet, bud. Who was that? I was saying that. Got a jet, bud. Keep the cool vids coming. Will do, man. I'm working on it. Watch out for those parasites. I hear you. I got that post you sent me on Facebook. Navis, what's up? You see how misformed my hat is getting now? It's got like a weird ring where I wear my uh, GoPro gear all the time. It's like pulling in the cap. <laughs> Oh, man. He finds a tape and plays it. He opens the Inspire. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> Dan knows he wants to go to New York to intercept that Inspire. We'll see. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I'm having fun. The wait and the adventure uh, and the anticipation is kind of the exciting part about it. Because I, I wouldn't even be mad if I opened the box and it did have rocks in it. I'd be like, joke's on me. Ah. So I sold the Bebop too. Good. Get rid of that thing. 3DR at my best buy new is 285. Good deal. They're selling it for 400 other places. <clears throat> How long will you keep the solo? I'm actually going to keep the solo for a long time until I can't get batteries for it anymore and have to start Frankensteining the thing out. When it gets to that point, then I'll probably get rid of it. But uh up until that point, we're going to keep flying. Maybe get a Solo or a Mavic. Maybe. I mean, I, I got to see what Inspires go for. Because if I do sell it, I want to make sure I'm offered a good price for it. Um, like I said, we'll fly it once or twice if I do get it. And then I'll, I'll make a decision from there. If I decide to keep it, I do. I may end up getting rid of the P3 then at that point because of all the flight restrictions. And, uh, you know, hopefully coming out with enough that I've got saved up to buy the transmission and go from there, but we'll see. <clears throat> Jordan, that is an excellent idea. Sell it and buy a Mavic Pro or P4. Um, I mean, William, I got car problems I still need to worry about, man. Love my Mavic Rock Solid performance. We'll see. We'll see. You know, if I can get 1500 out of the Inspire, uh, it may be worth it to me to find a used Mavic or something. Maybe see if they have refurbs by now. You got nothing to lose on that deal, bro. And and that's what I figured. I didn't think I had anything to lose. That's what I paid for my shitty house and it broke. Oh, uh, it's all good, William. I, I'm I try to be as honest as possible to everybody on my YouTube channel, man. I'm not a millionaire. I make ten bucks an hour and plus whatever I get from, you know, Teespring when I sell T shirts and um you know, my AdSense revenue is like gone down to like a hundred dollars a month, so I make about a hundred bucks on views every month, so that's not much. And then, uh, you know, it's kind of just doing it for fun, I guess, and still making a little, a little money off it, but not, not nothing crazy. I'd have to sell quite a few T-shirts to, <laughs> to make up for my job hours. I'm not getting. I thought the trans was fixed though, bro. It's not. Uh, 
We replaced a high pressure shift solenoid sensor in it, thinking that was the problem, but we still had to drop the tranny to do it, which cost a fortune, and it didn't fix the problem. So, not good. We were trying to fix it a couple months ago. Unfortunately, it's a K-frame, which means the whole front of the car had to be dropped to replace a simple sensor. It cost a fortune to do, and I should have just done the transmission while I was at it. I chose not to, and now I'm still kind of in the same boat as I was. It's not as bad, but it's still slipping very bad. So there's internal clutch problems going on inside my GP. And I hate that because my GP is the last year that the Grand Prix was produced. So I'm trying to keep it in good shape. I really do. But the transmission is just going to need replacement or rebuild one or the other, which is costly. So I don't want to sell the car because it's becoming very rare. <laughs> GPs aren't really around like they used to be. They're getting harder to find. Uh, $100 is pocket money. Pocket money is better than no money. I agree. Uh, I did look at my AdSense revenue stream. It looks like my payout is going to be about $125 uh, for last month for the last 28 days, which isn't too bad for YouTube revenue. Um, but, I mean, like I said, when I was doing hubs and stuff, I was making like 260 a month, which was, you know, fantastic. Unfortunately, I made personal decisions to step away from the company, and I don't want to go back. I'm Personally, I'm good with that. I'll take the pay cut to not have to deal with their products and their stupidity anymore so <laughs> I just help who I can when I can so I'm good with that I'm a person with a heart man I have a heart uh, sometimes a heart will screw you over I left the Facebook page drone days for sharing a link to a video made for my friend in Italy I got aggressive attacked and was told not to post anymore I don't do anything with the Hubson groups anymore those guys are <laughs> Some goofballs. They all think they know everything, and I sit here and I just read through the comments and I go, that's not right. That's not right either. These people have no idea what they're doing. But if I comment on it, I get picked apart because I'm drone worship. I have all the Hubson videos. I'm a traitor. So goofy. I just quit trying to help those guys on the Facebook group. They can have it. I had two, and they both flew <laughs> back to Japan. At B and H 3DR, complete with Hero Four for four seven forty nine in the past month, they raised their price. That's crazy. Not worth it. <laughs> well, yeah, drone worship is amazing. Well, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm I'm done with all Hubson. I, I may just buy their products just to review them, just to see what they're made of. Because I know if I start to modify any Hubson products, boy, I. People won't be so friendly to me the next time around, so I'm really hoping Banggood does not send me Hubson products to test at any point in time because that'll PO a lot of people off again. Let's see. Quick question. What's the range of your Typhoon Q500? I think the furthest it ever made it was 1,700 feet, which wasn't very far. <clears throat> Did you hear 3D Arrow Box is going to bond together with another company. I would be really interested to see if they come out with a Solo 2. How incredible would that be? Um, but this time, do not put Colin, uh, Colin Quinn, Gwen, Colin Gwynn in charge of things. I don't care that he's the reason we have the Solo. That guy uh, signed a death warrant by leaving DJI and then screwing himself over. So, <laughs> that's Colin Gwynn does not need to be part of any of that stuff. Colin Gwynn. I keep saying his name wrong. Hubson is a straight up... <laughs> Chuck, Chuck always comes in with a POS comment. Oh, man. That's funny. I don't... Like I said, my real issue with Hubson lies in the fact that they have made so much money now and they don't... They choose not to fix their problems as a company. Like, they know they can do proper quality control. They send 10 units out, 5 of those units have a problem, and they don't help fix them. That's just goofy to me. It's just completely goofy. And then they're like, oh, yeah, text, uh, email Hubson Direct. Email Hubson Direct. We'll help you out. And then for days, these people argue with Hubson about what their problem is. And then in the end, Hubson doesn't help them. They only help a few people. And that, to me, is just goofy. So they reach out to me. And then I end up having to help them. And it's funny that I get their bird working again properly when Hubson Tech Support can't do it. That's funny to me. I don't understand that. So anyways... Enough about Hubson. That gets me all irritated. 
and I start itching my stress dot that I don't have. See? Mm. There are Sea Hunter. Morning, Chuck. You would be correct. Hubson says they will fix and update stuff and never do. They don't do anything. They just tell you what you want to hear. I saw the Titanic again. The girls both look weird. And then the thought of a 101-year-old woman. Ew. That's a really off-topic thing. Wow. What's up, Hunter? Everyone's saying good morning, Mr. RC Hunter. We got RC Hunter. Look, see, I started talking about Hubson and... and, and like 12 people bailed out of the room. So you still got people that follow me, <laughs> that deal with Hubs and products. I'm sorry, guys. I, I, it's not that I don't have love for their products. I don't have love for the company. The company just, they screwed me on so many different occasions, man, on just every way possible. No love. <laughs> no love. I got no love. And then they wonder why I got irritated. Seriously. Anyways, Chris. Congratulations, sir. Some people are diehard. Got to give it to them. <clears throat> I don't, you know, hold anything against anybody. I really don't. My grudge is with Sam, the CEO of Hubson. That's who my grudge is with. And uh, he refuses to talk to me. So it is what it is. I only have my own JJRC LF legit flew away. The app crashed and it flew so high I couldn't see it. What? Oh, man. Wow, that's crazy. Come Goose, never found it again. Uh, RC Hunter. So, um, no, not yet. But it did reach New York, which is a good thing. At least we know that whatever he sent is here now. It's, it's reached the States, so that's good. It reached the States. Man, that light in the background. Super bright. Super bright. Keeping my Phantom 3 advanced, can't afford anything else. It does what I need it to do. I'm going to get some better props for it. I like my Hubson for the first month and after that, it's BS. Uh, Hubson is good for what it is. That's, uh, or it was. I have no idea what they're doing now. 501A to me is just a joke. I, I wouldn't purchase that with your money. <laughs> so. I don't know. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. All right. That's. I don't want to talk about it anymore. It gets me all stressed out and irritated. Hmm. Did you like my Mavic new facelift? I did. The little horns were cute in the eyeballs. It looked very fetching. Love my 3 d solo. <laughs> Uh, Solo is life. There's no other drone out there on the market like the Solo, and I don't think there ever will be for quite some time. I think it'll be a couple years before we see something that uh, is a competitor for the Solo, because as new technology comes out, people just adapt it to the Solo, so it's really hard to beat something that can just continue adapting itself to other things. You know, I feel like the Solo is a shapeshifter in a way. It's kind of crazy. If you ever had the money, would you ever build your own PC? I have built my own PC before. I used to be a gaming junkie for PC. And uh, I got out of that about four years ago. So, picked up a, a P3S lookalike, no GPS, but not bad for 50. Sounds like a deal. Sounds like a deal. It looks kind of like WW2 Fighter. May clone RC Hunter face. It does kind of have that. You guys remember the A10 Thunderbolt Warthog? That's what face I I kind of feel like he was aiming for. That A10 Thunderbolt Warthog it had a very aggressive look to it. Um, Dan, have you ever been married? I have never been married. Uh, I don't plan on it either. You know what? I am at this point in my life where I'm super happy just being single. You know, I have fun when I want to with the female ladies and enjoy myself and, you know, but am I looking to be tied down anytime soon and have kids? No. I find kids are stressful. And so are girlfriends. Very stressful. They always want or need things and I just... I'm married to my hobby currently, I think. <laughs> I just upgraded my internet to 100 megabits per second. You're a lot cleaner. Well, thank you. What's the best and cheapest way to get a 3DR solo with the with and 4K cam on it? Ah, uh, well, 
from what we understand, Best Buy sells them for $169 refurbished, and uh, the Xiaomi, the guys, name some cameras that work with a solo other than GoPro. I keep forgetting all of them. I know it's the Xiaomi. Um, what was the other one? Um, Econ H9. Um, God, there's a few of them. I need to make a list one of these days. Uh, I don't know if the S cams or the uh, SJ cams work with it. Some people say they do and some people don't. There you go. Firefly uh, S6 and 7 work. Econ H9. I know the Xiaomi works. Um, and then there were like two more after that that I was aware of. God. I, somebody always asks me this question. I can never remember all of them. I just need to have it written down with a little like message thing right here. So when people ask that question, I can just say it. Oh well, you got a couple, and they're all under a hundred bucks, basically, or ninety nine within that region. So, but I mean, if you go on eBay right now, they're selling the GoPro Hero three pluses for a hundred dollars, ninety nine dollars, on eBay. If you just look a little bit, you can find the uh, uh, the uh, Hero three plus, which is the black edition, uh, for ninety nine bucks. I I think they're seller refurbished, but from what I see, they all work. He doesn't have very many uh, negatives at all. Um, but the guy does it every single day, so, you know, you can still shoot in your 4K and your 2.7K and all that good stuff. Um, but, uh, and then you can also, if you get a gimbal later on, use the GoPro for the uh, uh, GoPro interface on the back of the gimbal so you can change your settings on the screen on the fly. So, food for thought. For the same price, you can get a lot of those cheaper cameras. Now you can buy the GoPro Hero 3 Plus. I just got a Hero 3 Plus Silver for 65. See what I'm saying, guys? So it's it's they're 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 out there. They're not hard to get a hold of. Just go on eBay. Um, at this point, I feel like um, uh, GoPro has really knocked their prices down to make up for the karma. Uh, it seems like they're trying to really get some of their <laughs> their money back by having to sell their cameras for a lot cheaper because the GoPro Hero Session Five uh, is like 200 bucks, which is super cheap for the for the five. Um, and then the GoPro Hero 5 is still under, I want to say, like $370. You know, when GoPros were, the Hero 4 and Hero 5 are like five and $600 plus. So they've really had to drop their camera prices now to make up for their big mistake with the Karma. <laughs> the floozy flop that took place. That was just sad. That was so sad. <laughs> Everyone had these high expectations. And uh, didn't work out, did it? Didn't work out. Who's commenting now? What's going on here? Yes, with the microphone. Hey, three. Mm, he has kids. They call them drones. Yes. Yes, I do call my kids drones. Nothing is the state 600 years older other than rocks. Dan, this is the last time I'm going to see you. I'm going to a better place. You're my favorite YouTuber. William, what's up with that, bro? Come on now. <clears throat> Still run my original GP Hero. You tried, it's 219 AM in the UK. Oh, man. So, uh, before I end this live stream here, I'm. At the better place. It's on the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, William. Oh, gosh. That is... Uh, that's a lot to take in just now. Good times. I hope you remembered toilet paper, bro. <laughs> <coughs> I'm dying now. What RC boat you had that got taken under by the gator that was the ft012 <laughs> stay on mate um yeah it depends on if i, I kind of wait for people to ask questions otherwise if you can't if we can't keep like the conversation rolling then it's really hard to stay uh have a topic because once the topic kind of wears itself out it's hard just to talk about nothing you know what i'm saying dude child support is <laughs> just take my word for it you're doing the right thing yeah, I mean, at some point I'll probably settle down. I just turned 30, so I think by 35 I should probably have uh, a girlfriend be turning into a wife at that point, if not sooner. But right now I'm not. 
Have you ever used... <laughs> Snow. You know of Magic 2 coming out in October? No. Hope my bug six picks up, ghost. Your 3DR solo was in a Michael Bay movie. Yes, it was. It was in Ninja Turtles. For those of you who didn't know that, the 3DR solo was in the Ninja Turtles movie. The newest one, actually, by the way. For those of you who weren't aware, if you didn't catch it, they used a 3DR solo in the Ninja Turtles movie. <laughs> I saw that the first time. And actually, I kind of like the paint job. I wish they offered that as a skin, because that thing looks crazy. <clears throat> Get a ghost cam for it. Mavic 2, sorry. Which is better, the 11 or the 12? The 11, all day, every day, 11. Uh, the 12 is so small and it has so much power because it runs on the 3S 25C, it pulls itself apart. The name Solo is from the Star Wars movie. Yes, it was. Han Solo. <clears throat> if there is a Mavic Pro... What? 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 If there is a... If there is a, if there is a Mavic Pro... I don't know that question, William. If there's is a Mavic Pro, is there just a Mavic? I couldn't tell you. I would think one would stand for a professional package, but we'll see. Let's see. The is 600 years old. Going to fly inside using FPV. They also used it to film some of 13 hours. Really? I didn't know that. Yep. I don't think I watched 13 hours. I'll have to check that out. What's it about? Is it a good movie? Do I need to go to Rotten Tomatoes and see who's lying to me right now? <laughs> oh, man. What do you think about the red cam? Oh. Wow. That was a big yawn. Um, I don't know. I don't really get into the run cams. Those aren't things that I, I prefer action cameras to run cams. My maiden flight with the Solo was in my house. Crash and burn. You know who I warned about that? Noble Digger trying to fly his P4 inside the house. That looked very risky. If you got a thousand to buy a drum, get the pro badge for the free. <laughs> I wonder if it will fit in the micro brush quads. Benghazi movie. I saw 13 Ghosts. That movie was so silly. I don't think I ever got scared by 13 Ghosts. That movie was goofy. Oh. I'm dying over here from yawning, guys. Mate, sorry, I meant to say Mavic Pro 2 coming out in October. Mavic 2, been on a few, really? Well, that's good for me, because on the Mavic, will drop way down in price again. Yay! I'll get a Mavic. I don't know what I'll do with it, but I'll get one. <laughs> All our no-fly zones here now are no fun. No fun. No fun for Dan. Dan has to deal with all these no-fly zones. Not cool. Totally not cool. Okay. That's it. That's the last, John. I can't do it. Magic one will be 750 Okay, bro. Take care and good luck. <laughs> Someone said if you use a cheap action camera on the solo, you only get for not recording. Well, you just lean down and start the recording. You get FPV. You just can't control any of the interface, so. Yes, William's correct. You get FPV. Um, and, and it doesn't work too bad. Uh, I, I did a test on it, if you remember that. I think my video is Drone Worship. Uh, does the solo need a, or using a, I don't remember, an off-brand camera or something. I made two videos about it and took video footage with one of them, so. All right, guys, that's it. Yeah, I'm, I'm yawning too much. Here comes another one. Uh, I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'll catch you guys on the flip, man. As long as it has an HDMI cable, yep. And it's got plugs right into the side. So you're good. Catch you all on the flip, man. Toodaroo.